Hello and welcome back to the iHeat YouTube channel. Today we're talking all things condensate pipes, how to protect them, how to defrost them, and how to prevent them from freezing in the future. We're currently outside my property where I've got a Worcester 8000 style. This is the condensate that they have put in. It's a 32 millimeter straight outside, which is to the manufacturer's instructions. As you can see, the condensate pipe has a nice drop in it all the way throughout the pipe. There's no straight drops or corners where the water could collect and eventually freeze. This goes straight down the 32 mil pipe into a big four inch soil pipe, which has got no chance of freezing. Unless you're in Siberia, which it could do. If you're waking up today, checking your condensate to see it is frozen or your boiler is showing any of the following error codes, this is how to fix it. First step is to fill a kettle. Make sure it goes to boiling and let it calm down for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's more lukewarm to the touch. If you're like me and you've got pets or animals, make sure they stay out of the way as this is literally boiling water which could hurt them. Go on, in you get. Oh boy. Once all pets are away, make sure any electric sockets are covered up nice and safely. You don't want to pour any water into them or onto them. Uh, and now we can get to work on the condensate pipe. With your lukewarm kettle, you want to pour it over the condensate from the top all the way down. If you've got a soil pipe, make sure it goes onto the connection on the soil pipe, as that can also be frozen with ice too. If you've got a grid down at the bottom, you may start to see some ice come down from the bottom, which means that it is working. Once you've poured it over a few times, you've made sure it's all nicely covered. You want to head inside, turn your boiler off, wait a few minutes, turn it back on, and hopefully all your error messages have cleared and your boiler's firing up fine. Now on to protecting the condensate pipe for the future. The first step to preventing your condensate pipe from freezing in the future is to make sure it is installed correctly. If it has got any straight drops or you know corners where it could collect the water, make sure you get it changed to a more flowing pipe so the water never freezes. For peace of mind, get your boiler installed by eye heat as when we install the boiler, the condensate will be installed correctly to manufacture specification. Also, if you're getting a new boiler installed, you can actually get your condensate terminated inside the property if it is near a kitchen sink, washing machine or dishwasher as you can connect the condensate trap to the waste trap on those items. Whilst I did have a sink right next to my boiler on the inside, it was an easier option for me to go straight out the back and down into this soil pipe, which is literally right next to the boiler. Finally, you want to pick up some lagging. This is it from last year. Really nice, thick, high quality lagging, which can go around the pipe nice and easy and snug, zip tied nice and tight, and this will protect it from freezing in the future. It acts as a layer of insulation, but also protects it from animals like rats or mice, which may be nibbling on your pipes, causing leakage in the future. If your pipe's nice and high up like mine, I don't think that's something you have to worry about. If the problem isn't fixed, comment below with what your issue is and we'll try and come up with a good response. If not, get in touch with iHeat. Our customer service team are always there to talk. Uh, so either give us a call or message us down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This has been iHeat.